seek and destroy. Planes, helicopters and even missiles, you name it, the S-400 Triumph can locate and hunt down almost any flying target. First, the target is spotted and identified. Then the system starts monitoring it or following its course. Then the command makes the call to either eliminate the target or not. After getting the green light, the system opens fire. One of the strong suits of the system is its mobility. It can literally create full-scale air defense anywhere on the ground within minutes. Preparation takes not more than five minutes, and everything's done by three people, one officer and two conscripting soldiers. The system can shoot down objects as small as a soccer ball, even if they're flying at supersonic speeds. Each S-400 system consists of several elements. One radar, which monitors the skies looking for targets. A second one, which follows specific targets, a command post and the launcher itself, or the gun, as it's called here in the Army. Combined, the elements of the system can follow up to 300 targets, flying from as low as just a few feet above ground and up to nearly 40 miles high in the skies, which is pretty much around six times higher than the average passenger jet. The first S-400 systems are already in service and along with the older S-300 and Panzer S protect the skies over Moscow, St. Petersburg and the central industrial region of Russia. It is planned that the S-400 will completely replace the S-300. Its production has already been ended. The S-300 is capable of intercepting targets not higher than 30 kilometers, which isn't enough since we're only covering small areas. But when the altitude capacity is raised, we can protect larger territories. Analysts say recent conflicts have shown how vital it is to have reliable defense not only from threats from the skies, but from space also. And this is what the S-400 was designed to do. It can locate targets nearly 600 kilometers away and has a firing range of up to 400 kilometers. That's around five times more than its Western analog, the Patriot. There are no plans for exporting it just yet, giving Russia a chance for an unprecedented advantage against any threat from the skies for at least the next 20 years. Igor Piskunov, RT, Southern Russia. Hi again, Russia's briefing of its air defences in Syria now in response to the downing of that jet yesterday. One of Russia's biggest warships has been deployed off Syria's coast now and ordered to shoot down any threats from above. Moscow is also sending one of its newest anti-aircraft missile systems to cover its airbase in Syria too. The S-400 complex is designed to engage up to 80 targets at the same time. It's got a maximum range of 400 kilometers, meaning it can destroy any type of military aircraft across a wide area. The Russian missiles are incredibly fast and powerful too, and also extremely precise. Experts say they can hit a target the size of a football.